Hey trappers, Dale Billingsley here, Billingsley Brand Lures. So guys, I thought I'd go ahead and go through uh, a little trap prep here for you today. Uh, it's not anything hard. It's just the way I do things. Uh, we're going to do some painting. And uh, you can kind of see I've got my racks set up here. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll get right out of here. I'll show you just exactly how I do this. And uh, it'll be all right. So the first thing is start off with a gallon of Rust-Oleum paint. Um, you can use farm implement paint. You can use body primer. Uh, I've used everything like that, and, and it's always worked just fine. I just I had a chance here to get this Rust-Oleum, so that's what I got this time. So go ahead and get our get our cans opened up here. If I can, I may have to go get a screwdriver. lids off do not whatever you do you don't want to wear good clothes while you're doing this because it is messy I get that paint down here where I can not get it all over anything and everything we've got a clean five gallon bucket here we just dump the paint right in the bucket I'm using today for a thinner I'm just using mineral spirits. Um, you can use acetone. You can use naphtha. I would, I would caution you using acetone or naphtha in a plastic bucket, but it can be done. Um, sometimes, though, you get some, a bucket that's a little bit thin and it wants to eat into it. So we'll take a little of our mineral spirits here. And we'll go ahead and we'll put it in the can. opened up go ahead and we'll dump a little here in the can that way we make sure we get all our paint uh, go ahead and we'll give it a good give it a good mixing make sure we get it all now you want to be careful too with this mineral spirits or any kind of any kind of a thinner like this because uh well i got that stuff all over me um you know don't be around any open flames don't be smoking cigarettes anything like that because this stuff is highly flammable so we're going to mix it 50 50 to start a gallon of paint to a gallon of thinner and then we'll uh give it a good mixing and we'll go from there and see if we need to add more paint or add more thinner to it Got that mixed in there. Let me get a uh, let me get a stirring stick here. All right, we got a good semi-clean stirring stick. Stir it up good. I think we're going to be about right. I'm not going to paint a whole bunch of these today. I just want to kind of get this thing going for y'all. Yeah, I think we're going to be about right there. That looks pretty good. All right, now all we've done, we've taken these to the car wash. And we've washed them up, got all the old dirt and everything off of them that we can. We're going to dip them into paint. Let them drip a little bit into the bucket. And just hang them. And as that afternoon sun gets on around, and on a dry or on a good breezy day like today, and low humidity, it uh, it won't take too long, and they will be dry. About an hour, and they should be dry and odor free. Uh, mineral spirits is kind of a fast evaporating thinner. Same way with acetone, um, you know, it's, I know we're kind of late in the game to get this started, but 
I don't like doing it when it's 118 degrees out. I'd rather, I'd rather not do it on a nice cool day like so. You can see if you wanted to, I mean, it wouldn't take very long. You could have a bunch of traps painted and in a hurry. Like I said, in a couple hours, in a, probably an hour, they'll be dry. We'll, uh, we'll come back out and check them again here after a bit, but it shouldn't take too long, and they'll be completely, totally dry, odor-free. Go put them in the ground if you wanted to. That's all there is to it guys right there it ain't hard one gallon of paint one gallon of thinner for with the with the mineral spirits uh, if you're using uh, implement paint or body primer then it's a gallon plus one quart of paint to about two and a half gallon of thinner now you're gonna have to kind of play with that a little bit to get it to work suits you but that's, as a general rule, that's about right. Go ahead, same way with your dog proofs. Just, uh, just dip them in, hang them up. A little bit of rust on that trap better uh, I've got some new number 11s laying here that I'm working on yet putting new chains new J hooks center swivels that kind of stuff they're not ready yet to die but anyway that's what it is guys that's all there is to it um, pretty simple really as I appreciate you watching I appreciate everything you've done for my channel I hope this has helped somebody if it has if you would please just hit that thumbs up for me once again, this is Dale Billingsley with another one, signing out.